This is on the mastering metric CIM assignment for December 2019. Task 1.B. The overall assignment is about analyzing, understanding the environment in which you operate so that you can anticipate the challenges before they hit you. Now the environment will include both external and internal environment. The macro, the micro and the internal environment. So strong marketing oriented organizations will have their marketing information system at play. Now conceptually the marketing information system you could easily find that in any good marketing text. Philip Kotler would set the foundation for a marketing information system. Now, marketing information system would have an interface that will look at the external aspects of the environment where you will gather that data information. A good marketing information system on the same time will look at internal data information, analyze them, do research, look at other areas of gathering insights, convert all of this into meaningful information and insight and will present this to your management for decision making. So you have the data capture side, you have the data analysis side and you have the reporting side to make decisions. So the student requires to clearly understand different angles, different dimensions, different models related to the marketing information system. Now in reality, different organizations have a different capacity to have an information system and a marketing information system. A multinational like a Unilever to a small company to a micro company, they all analyze the environment in their own way based on their own capabilities and resources. And they all take decisions, right or wrong, timely or untimely, they make decisions. So spend some practical time and research to find out what's happening in your company. Now coming to the assignment, the student is required to separate to do a detailed analysis in a form of maybe a table on the macro, micro and internal environmental factors and what's happening on each of those factors, do your research and then look at what matrices can be used to analyze each of those dimensions. So example, in your environmental analysis under micro, you will analyze your comparison. And the matrices that are generally used by most companies are market share, uh, price premium ratios, your price versus competitor pricing. Uh, such, as met such matrices will help you to gauge where your comparison is. Now that analysis is a detailed analysis on the on an annexure. At the same time, you will have to analyze your company's capabilities, your company's systems. Do you have competitor information gathering systems, manual systems, digital systems? Some companies will have software that is capable of going and doing secondary research, automated, crawling through computer website and throwing out a fairly detailed computer analysis on product features and pricing. Some companies will not have the technical or technological capability to do that. They will use maybe a human resource to call companies, their hotlines, uh, analyze some of their websites by going physically and provide a document uh, to the management about what competition is doing. So different companies have different ways in doing this based on their resources and competencies. So every student who has access to the Mastering Metrics ebook from CIM, in chapter one will go through the types of systems, capabilities and resources that are required to be studied to understand how to set up an effective information system for marketing decision making. So your examiner has also given you some of those capabilities and resources such as your team structure. Do you have the right type of people in the right departments to be able to capture environmental information and insights? Do you have the right type of workflows, step-by-step -step, uh, flows that ensure that accurately, effectively this is done? 
does your organization also have some software to support this so this theory comes from your chapter 1 from your sim textbook but you could also read other material about organizational resources and capabilities on information and data gathering or marketing marketing information and data gathering now for the purpose of assignment you could structure the task by maybe spending a bit of time about the environmental aspect or the context that your company is operating in so let's say you do this for elephant house uh, you might want to clearly understand that the political environment and the legal environment is responding to the social issue of people having diabetes so there are government policy and laws coming on the curtailing of sugar levels by getting you to uh, uh, put those sugar contents in the labels as well as taxes which is clearly impacting that business at the same time there should be competitive activities as elephant house you will see what coca cola is doing what pepsi cola is doing and what companies like smack the smaller players are doing uh, and you might look at some of those macro uh, and micro factors so setting up your assignment briefly analyzing evaluating using the right theories and some data is a good start then of course you got to go and look at the capabilities of the company and you could list them down under the headings that have already been given by the examiner uh, on the systems that is available you can analyze the systems study marketing systems in uh, from theory point of view uh, analyze workflows along that you could also use headings like organization structure what type of structures are available in your company so example if your company does not have a business intelligent team or a marketing intelligence team or a management information system team you might be not be able to capture some of this external information and insights so you could use the site right headings to see what the capabilities that your company has and resources your company has which in turn will help get some of the specific metrics that is required to analyze the environmental challenges and some of those metrics could include uh, if you are looking at macro you could look at economic growth rates you could look at some of the per capita income stats and some of that information might not be very difficult to gather but the metrics have to be clear competitor metrics a supply metrics so all external environment and internal environment related metrics have to be brought into the picture so what are the systems processes and uh, structures available and important to uh, come out with the relevant matrices that indicate what's happening in the environment and how that helps finally as a key topic in the reporting of such matrices to the right decision makers at a strategic level operational level for decision making example of walmart would analyze competitor pricing on staple foods like even potatoes twice thrice even four times a day and there are system processes and structures to do that because a couple of cents in us dollar terms moving in competitor prices can have a significant impact on the overall performance of some of the product categories so this is the overall outlook for this assignment the metrics theory will come from paul faris marketing metrics it will come from malcolm mcdonald on accountability and some of the wider reading the rest of the theory with regard to systems processes team structures will come from your chapter 1 in your cim textbook and again wider reading so that's the plan for your task 1b